The images you use for a website need to be low in size and high in quality. In this video, I'll show you one of the most common and best formats when it comes to websites and how you can convert images to this format. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unicumber. When building a website, you'll have a certain amount of storage space assigned to your domain the size of which will depend on factors like your subscription, for example. For free or cheap subscriptions, this will be a few gigabytes only, which may sound like a good amount, but if you have a blog or website where you use a lot of images, you can run out of space very quickly, especially if you're using high quality images, which is also absolutely necessary for high quality content. So what do you do? So using the right format is essential. The format recommended is WebP. As the name suggests, this format was created for internet use. Now, some image and video editors absolutely don't like this format, but for websites, it's perfect. It was made for them. So take a look at these images I took from my website content. I shot them in RAW so I could edit them limitlessly, and then I exported them in the largest possible JPEG quality. So they're over 10 megabytes. I know it doesn't seem to be that big, but a lot of 10 megabyte images would use up the storage space before I know it. Now, what I'm going to do is easily convert these images into WebP with a bit of resizing. I'll use the image converter tool in the Uniconverter 16 that supports batch image conversion and a bunch of formats. So the process is going to be super fast. To download the Uniconverter, go to videoconverter.wondershare.com and download it for Windows or Mac. When you have the software up and running, navigate to the image menu here and then find the image converter. The next step is importing your images. Easily drag and drop them into this window. Moving forward, we'll have to choose the output format, which will be the same for all of the files here. Uh, so what I will do is navigate down here and choose WebP from this list. Next, I'll click on the settings button here and I'll choose a new resolution, about one third of the original one, which will still be perfectly enough for web content. Alternatively, you can always set different output formats and settings for each images, but here we need all of them to be in the same format and same size. Finally, let's choose an output folder where your WebP files will be saved and then click on start all. The converter will process your files in a few seconds. So let's check out the converted images. Look, they're very small in size and the quality still kept very high. All right, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you have any topic requests, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next video.